Welcome to the Law of the Future podcast with Dennis Hilleman. This podcast is all about technology, politics, and law. Dennis Hilleman is a partner in an international law firm. He wants to change our mind on regulating new technologies. All opinions expressed in the podcast are the personal opinions of Dennis or his guests. And here is Dennis. This article has been published by Dennis Hilleman on Medium. Germany has voted. The new federal government will be formed by the parties SPD, Greens, and the Liberal FDP. Today, November 24, 2021, the three governments presented their new coalition agreement at 3 p.m. I immediately evaluated the coalition agreement and overviewed the new government plans for blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. In doing so, I have initially focused on the contents of the contract in which blockchain or cryptocurrencies are explicitly mentioned. Then, I will evaluate the entire contract bit by bit. Green light for fintechs and DEFI. The new government wants Germany to become one of the top locations within Europe for fintechs, insurtechs, platforms, neo brokers, and all other idea providers. In the view of the three parties, it is essential to exploit the opportunities associated with the new technologies, such as blockchain, identify risks, and create an appropriate regulatory framework. The government, therefore, wants to ensure effective and speedy approval procedures for fintechs. Furthermore, Digital financial services should function without media discontinuities. The new government wants to create the legal framework for this and extend the possibility of issuing electronic securities to equities. My opinion, this is a good sign for Germany. The blockchain strategy of the old federal government in 2019 saw the token economy and thus also the possibility of decentralized financial services as a significant opportunity. Hopefully, Germany will continue on this path under the new government. It will remain interesting to see whether Germany's new government will also advocate for development-friendly and blockchain-friendly regulation at the EU level. After all, many regulatory matters are at the EU level, German rules are possible until the EU replaces them with another law. For the Federal Financial Supervisory Authority, BaFin, there will thus be new pressure from politics to carry out approval procedures quickly. It is expected that BaFin will also be reorganized in terms of personnel to become faster in the approval procedures. Nevertheless, the development is exciting and a good sign for providers in Germany. The level playing field for crypto trading, joint European supervision for crypto trading. The EU has not yet made final use of regulating crypto trading for the member states. Therefore, also to the detriment of consumers, there has often been competition between the member states to which member state offers the most liberal conditions for crypto exchanges and comparable providers especially countries like Malta were top-rated here with exceptionally liberal regulation. The new federal government wants to create a level playing field. From the new government's point of view, Germany needs a new dynamic towards the opportunities and risks from new financial innovations, crypto assets, and business models. The three parties are committed to a level playing field with a level playing field within the EU, between traditional and innovative business models and vis-a-vis large digital companies. The new government wants to make European financial market supervision law fit for digitalization and complex group structures to ensure holistic and risk-adequate supervision of new business models. Particularly exciting, the new government believes that the European Union needs joint European supervision for the crypto sector. Germany also wants to oblige crypto asset service providers to identify the beneficial owners consistently. So no more anonymity? What will that mean for private coins like Monero? That remains to be seen. My opinion, this is also to be welcomed. In my view, it makes no sense for each member state to continue to determine the regulation itself, thus creating legal uncertainties in cross-border transactions. Because of the international nature of trading in cryptocurrencies, it also makes sense to place supervision at the European level, even if such supervision will undoubtedly take quite a bit of time. Money laundering and cryptocurrencies. To this end, The new government wants to work at the EU level to transfer the central money laundering regulations into a regulation. The aim is to make the fight against money laundering more effective across Europe and close any gaps. The three parties favour an effective and independent EU money laundering authority as proposed by the European Commission and advocate for its seat in Frankfurt and Main. The EU supervisory authority should take care of the traditional financial sector and prevent the misuse of crypto assets for money laundering and terrorist financing. My opinion, This suggests that, at any rate, trading in cryptocurrencies will still be subject to stronger regulation, and possibly tightening, at the EU level. The rules are not surprising and, from my point of view, right, as cryptocurrencies should not be placed in a better position than other assets. In this respect, 
do, it will depend on the European level, i.e., how Germany gets involved here at the EU level and what position Germany will take. Land Registry on the Blockchain The government wants to combat the illegal financing of real estate through appropriate measures. This includes proof of taxation for commercial and private real estate buyers from abroad, any real estate purchase in Germany, and a ban on purchasing real estate with cash. In the land register, a summonable address will be obligatory in case of changes. The government wants to commission a feasibility study to investigate whether a land register on the blockchain is possible and beneficial. My opinion, this is very interesting. The blockchain strategy of the old federal government still explicitly refrained from transferring the land register to the blockchain in 2019. The new government now wants to explore this possibility. If necessary, there will be a fundamental turnaround here. In my view, this would be very welcome since the land register, as an important public register that chronologically tracks all transactions in Germany, is a model use case for the blockchain. Dot. Preventing abusive dividend transactions. The Cumex affair has shaken Germany badly. Here, there were illegal legal transactions with shares, also with the help of lawyers, tax advisors, and banks, to defraud the state of billions of euros in tax money. Building on the measures of the last legislative period, the government wants to do everything it can to stop abusive dividend arbitrage transactions. Moreover, to ensure that this is fraud-proof, the government seeks to use new technical possibilities, e.g., blockchain. My opinion, this is also very welcome. For it is precisely for this area of dividend transactions, tamper-proof blockchain technology can offer a significant impetus. Assessment, overall, the points are welcome and, in my view, right for the reasons outlined. However, the coalition agreement fails to make a significant impact on blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Nevertheless, at least the mention of the technology indicates that the new coalition is giving it extraordinary innovative power. This gives hope that an open, friendly attitude towards the technology will be adopted in the actual government work.